going on guys? Back here with Chisley Bear Studios, working on the Prius still. Jesus. <laughs> I can mold these guys. Um, working on the Prius still, it's almost done. We just have to paint the body this weekend and she's done. And after that, maybe a good little detail. Um, I've done a lot of work to it off camera because we've been so busy. There's videos that are gonna come out that I've already filmed. But what I've done off camera is I got an alignment on the, I, I got an alignment on the Prius. So steering wheel's finally straight and it drives straight. We took it up to Seattle, eight hour drive, just to make sure, you know, we're getting good miles per gallon and make sure it's driving good. It looked like that while we were driving it. Kinda, kinda busted, but that's okay. We took it to a wedding. I checked the, I ripped apart the whole rear end to check the hybrid battery system and the fan that cools the hybrid battery down because you don't want that to be clogged up because then your hybrid battery's toast. So I ripped apart the fan. I don't know if I got footage of that, but that's all right. I uh, used an air nozzle and cleaned it out. Held the fan blade still because you don't want it to free spin, you'll break it. And then well, I noticed while I was cleaning that out that it didn't have a filter, which is a big reason why hybrid batteries go out. So we purchased a filter. This was hard to get, kind of hard to get because they don't, I went to Toyota so I could get one same day so we could have a filter when we drove up to Seattle, but Toyota doesn't sell this like this anymore. They sell you the whole duct, which is like $200. So I went on eBay after doing a little research, found this for pretty cheap, like 15, 20 bucks. If that, I'm gonna put that in. If our hybrid battery doesn't go bad. Another thing we did off camera, just sticking around one day, I cut and buffed this door and it came out pretty, pretty well. I could probably use maybe another cut and buff. I was trying to figure out the product and the wool pads and stuff I got in the new buffer, but it came out pretty good for first time. And obviously I got some cut right here on the mirror and never cleaned it off, but that's okay. Um, this car <coughs> has a load of rock chips. Has 140,000 in a bunch. You so, counted? What? <laughs> you counted? 144,000 miles. Oh, it's <laughs> um, like rock chips. And there, this hood isn't the same hood from the original hood from this car, but even all the ones we found at the junkyard, this was the best, the cheap, not the cheap, it was the cheapest route and the best route for finding a new hood because the hood that was on this was pretty messed up. And this hood also has a bunch of rock chips, which I don't know if you can see, but like, can you zoom in on it or does it look good? I body filled all of these rock holes so you rock chips, so you can't um, you can paint right over it now. It looks really good. Um, today, today I'm gonna fill these ones, which I mean you can tell the difference from these to the ones on the hood. Okay. Compared to the rock chips on the hood now which are 100% flat and filled in. This one's so small, but on camera it looks huge. Look at this one. So what we're doing today is filling these rock chips up front with some body filler. Then I'm gonna sand them, wet sand them down and then I might primer this tonight. I don't know yet, depending on what we, what we got going on because we have a wedding tomorrow to go to and work. But um, I'm probably gonna primer this. Primer this. Eh. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna primer this on the vehicle. I'm probably, I should probably rip it off, which I mean, I gotta rip off a bunch of parts. So I'll probably do the rock or body filler, sand it down. I also have to sand this a little smoother. 
So I'll rip <laughs> off all the parts, get them ready for paint this weekend, which requires me to rip, pull this bumper and this fender off, and I gotta sand them so we can get some paint on them. So that's what I'm gonna be up to, and let's get to work. <laughs> Just finished all the sanding on this. It looks pretty mint. Um, time to rip it off and rip everything off. Pop, tried to pop it up in here and it's too tall so we're gonna have to do the painting it not in the garage but in the driveway I'll probably cure the paint in the garage and that'll happen in the next couple days 
Um, it's a late night and it took us a while to clean up the garage and get everything ready. But the bumper, fender, and hood are over there. The bumper and fender need sanded. And the hood is ready to paint and just needs primer on it. Which is going to be a lot of work this weekend, but we'll try to bust it out and get it done. Um, this right here also needs painted. We gotta clean it up. Okay. Show me your thumb again. <laughs> they gotta clean it up, obviously. And it's just gonna get a light dusting of base coat. Maybe a, not a light dusting of clear too, but I don't know yet, we'll see. Um, I'll probably, while I have extra paint in the gun from spraying that stuff, I'll just come over here and cover up the wheel, cover up all this stuff and it should be good. But um, yeah, so we'll see you in the couple next, or in the next couple days, excuse me. All right guys, we got uh, the preset all prepped right here. All I have to do is wax and grease remove, put some primer, throw some primer on this and some of these rock chips. And then we are going, I'm, I might plastic wrap it just so overspray doesn't happen. But after it's primer, we gotta wet sand it. So let's get to it. primer it in so uh, let's take a look at it not, not anything perfect but uh it'll do the job I was not expecting this but I mean it didn't come out great it didn't come out amazing or horrible but still looks pretty good I'm gonna get to Sandy and we paint tomorrow morning it's a late night